Good morning. Uh, so today I'm um, just going to do a very quick session because I don't really have a lot of time um, just to fix up uh, some bits that were annoying me from that I did yesterday. So yesterday um, I got this little test working um, which is um, testing our ping flag uh, to the command line app that we're rebuilding for Snippy Pixie. Um, so we can pass the ping um, or P for short um, and an optional response. Um, so it will go pong by default, um, otherwise whatever string you give it. Um, and so we gave create a little test um, uh, so if you call like snippet pixie minus p um, it should return pong um, and we're building this little command structure which says okay well that means i need to call the ping function um, with pong um, and then in this cli the ping function is going to uh, eventually um, be called with uh, the expected response and does its thing um, and then actual in main, um, we've just at the moment got a little switch statement um, that says, okay, based on the command, what am I doing? And so I'm just going to call this ping thing with the first arg and do the do. Um, but this is going to change very soon. Um, we're going to start adding uh, new flags for doing various things on the when talking to the, the debug server. So um, I want to kind of get ahead of myself um, and I've only got a short time today. So I'm just going to quickly make this um, test, which is a little bit verbose. It's going through and it's doing, okay, now I want to do minus P with an option, ping and whatever. Um, and it's repeating the exact same structure four times. Um, with only data change in here, uh, basically. Uh, it's either I'm expecting Wibble or Pong. Uh, Wibble or Pong. Um, so this is the perfect case um, for using data-driven um, uh, tests. So I just want to see if I can get that going um, as a precursor to when I'm testing other options and need them to iterate through a whole bunch of um, variations, such as when doing like add snippet or um, get snippet ending with and all this kind of stuff. Well, I want to test variations um, and make sure I get the right results. So um, test driven. So I believe all I need to do is create a little on the fly structure, um, a slice um, of a structure. Um, and just create various entries in that slice. So let's see, I think I will do that here. Just do it here. So um, what we te we're testing, we'll test cases, I guess. Um, and it's a slice of a struct building on the fly, and it's going to have it's going to have args, which is slice of a string so that's going to match this thing here basically i'm going to basically have this and then what else are we going to be testing uh, the output mm, that's always blank at the moment so we can probably leave that out for the second for the moment. 
suppose it doesn't harm to put it in. Well, so that's that's the input, isn't it? Um, Um, so let's do we are expecting well we can do we can do very simple test for the expecting in this case and we can then expand on it later when we start looking at multiple arcs. We just want to do the bare minimum now. So let's say um, uh, the command will be some sort of string and Yeah, and arg, it's going to be another string. But it isn't, is it? This is expected, isn't it? So, let's do that. Expected command. Expected arg. Because I think I might change that later. Let's do that. Yeah, I'll do for the moment. That's fine. Okay, and now I need to build. No, I want to build a slice. So I am going to have my first input is going to be the slice of string with snippet pixie and minus p. I then want ping as the command and pong as the arc that we get back. Then we're going to do Okay. So here we now change this to that, and we want people as a response now, because we've specified that. And then we're going to duplicate these again. And just change this to ping. Ping Wibble. Well, that should go the same. And now in here, got loads of stuff that's all the same. So we can get rid of all of them. Bar the first lot. Okay. 
and then we can iterate over. So we're going to have. Now, how does this work? I need to remember how to do a four now. Uh, well, it's a range, isn't it? Um, what do we do? We get. Yeah, I need to check the docs for that. Because you get an index, I believe. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's quickly get to the tour menu. Don't want a basic for it's not what I want. Okay. Golang range example. That'll do. Oh, look, go by the range. That'll do. Perfect. Okay. So it's four blah range. And we get an index and a value. Okay. Fair enough. So an index that we don't care about, a case we do, and it's a range cases. Oh, and I better do a four here. <laughs> yeah, because that's not going to help, help us otherwise. Yeah, for blah, that, grab everything with that. Somehow I'm doing something wrong. Why? What's wrong with that? What, what am I doing wrong there? Well, I should be able to do that. Oh, it's the case. Uh, <laughs> because it's a reserved word. Uh, that's, that's not a great error message is that cannot use it as a value, but I've got so. Um,
let's call that um, let's call it spec uh, it doesn't like that, why? oh, just because it's not used yet yeah, that's fine so now we're going to start using it So we can get shot of that, pass in the args here. And then we're testing command. Expected command and spec expected arc. There we go. So we've chopped out a lot of code there, a lot of repeated code. But does it work? Let's find out. Yes, everything passes. Cool. And that's me done. Well, the video was short, um, which is good because I've got to get on with some stuff. Um, but yeah, let's commit that. Um, so we'll use data driven Ping options. Oh dear. Okay. That's that sorted. Um, well, it was a really, really was a very short session today, but I do have other stuff to get on to. Um, so um, until next time, um, thanks for watching and take care.